Hello and welcome to this first video lecture on the topic of uh, refrigeration and air conditioning. In this first video lecture, we will look at some basic topics uh, regarding the subject. Now, let us start by defining what is refrigeration. Now, if you define it, well, refrigeration is a process of removing heat from a substance under controlled conditions. Now, what are those controlled conditions we will look at in the subsequent video lectures. Now, the basic process is that of removing heat. Okay. Now, if you talk about heat, this means we need to study heat also or we need to have a knowledge about what heat is. Now, heat is, as we all know, is an energy which flows from a body at high temperature towards a body at low temperature. Now this is the natural flow of the heat energy. Now what is happening in refrigeration is that uh, the substance, let us take this as a refrigerator and this is the body which we need to cool down. Now the outside temperature may be 35 degrees Celsius okay the the ambient temperature but this substance is uh, let us say minus 2 degrees celsius this means we are continuously extracting heat from this body and throwing it outside that is to an atmosphere of 35 degrees celsius this means in refrigeration the heat flow is from low temperature to high temperature. Now this is an unnatural flow of heat energy and this happens if we provide some work input. Now how do we do that? We will look at it in the uh, subsequent flight, uh, slides. So this means heat naturally flows from high temperature to a low temperature. But in refrigeration we are making heat flow from low temperature to a high temperature surrounding by giving in some work input. Now before we move ahead let us look at the next slide. Okay what you can see here is a plot between temperature and heat. So you keep on giving heat you have a sample of ice at 10 minus 10 degrees Celsius. Okay you start heating this when you start heating it, the temperature of the body increases. Okay, so what happens? As you can see, we will mark it with a black marker. Okay, so when you are at minus 10 degrees Celsius ice and you start giving heat, this is a continuous process. The temperature starts to rise. It keeps on increasing and it reaches zero degrees Celsius ice. So still the phase is ice the phase has not changed what has changed the temperature value the temperature has increased from minus 10 degrees celsius to 0 degrees celsius now again you are not stopping the heat you are still giving the heat now, now something strange happens the temperature does not change it stays at 0 degrees celsius as you can see here but now the phase but now the phase it changes from ice and it becomes water. Now there is some melting which has taken place. Still you keep on giving the heat, you are still very persistent. Now what happens? The temperature starts to increase again. The temperature starts to increase again. Now 0 degrees Celsius water has now become water at 100 degrees Celsius. Now as you can see the, tem the state is same but the temperature has again increased. Now at this point, as you keep on giving the heat, the temperature change stops. There is no change in the temperature, but there is a change in the phase. Now, looking at this graph, this means we need to have a very important concept to understand here is that when you give heat, sometimes the temperature changes and sometimes the state changes or the phase changes. Now what are these two kinds of heat actually? So if you look at this heat, 
this heat in this heat what is happening there is no change of phase but there is some temperature change this kind of heat is called sensible heat okay now if you look at the second one in this there is no temperature change but there is some state change this kind of heat is called latent heat okay this means insensible heat will have some temperature change but the phase will remain the same and in latent heat there will be no temperature change uh, with the change of phase and next this is also some amount of sensible heat and again this is the latent heat